Uh, I'm talking right now with Alexandria from Shortly. Uh, how are you doing over there? I'm good. How are you? Hang in there. It's really hot. It's really hot in the city today. Are, are you in Detroit? I am in Detroit. Oh, there you go. Totally okay. Yeah. Happy about it. <laughs> I, I saw that you are um, playing the Bled Fest coming up. I guess we could talk a little bit about that, too. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have only heard, I think, two songs of yours. I heard Matthew, and then there's a demo on Bandcamp as well. But um, do you have other stuff that's already recorded or still working okay. on it? <laughs> okay, that's complicated. Yeah, you said two songs, and I was like, that sounds about right. That sounds about what I have up there. Um, it was my cat. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, um, I'm in the process of recording. I'm working on an album. I'm not sure if I'm going to release an EP or a record, but I don't have anything solid enough to send out there. So, so far, I just have that one single and a demo or two. Um, and then some other things on, some other things are happening on my SoundCloud where I'll just kind of come up with something and then throw it up there and then delete it sometimes. So. <laughs> yeah, now, now, now we know where the other tracks are hiding. They're on the SoundCloud. Yeah, they're so. all hiding on SoundCloud. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, so how has the recording been going? Are you doing the recording yourself, or are you going to studio for this? Um, the recording's been going pretty well. It's been an on and off thing, um, just slowly making my way through the record. And I'm working with Matt again. Um, I recorded with him for Matthew, so I was like, oh, this is perfect. He works with really well, so um, just driving to and from Toledo to record. Oh, nice. So what should we expect from the, the newer stuff that you've been working on? Is it going to sound like Matthew? Is it like varied? Is there a lot of different stuff there? Um, okay. I think that Matthew is a good good song to represent a project because I think there's elements in that song that are carried over into every other song that I write. Um, but it doesn't sound like every other song that I write. None of my songs necessarily sound the same. Um, but when it comes to what you can expect, I would say something in the same tier. Um, I really like the deep drums. I really like simplified music. Um, I'm a finger picker, stuff like that. And I'm really into like those deep tuber tones. So um, I say the album is just like really full of that. I've been working mostly on flushing out the percussion on it and trying to make it more interesting. But um, yeah, it'll be a lot like that. It'll be deeper, um, but different. Do, do you play everything for the band, or do you have some other? Uh, I play everything other than drums. Ah, yeah. Nice. I don't know how to play drums. <laughs> really, I try really hard, but there's only so much you can do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't you can't be the whole band. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, th well, that'll be interesting. Who's gonna be playing drums on the album? Um, on the album, Matt is playing drums, and then. Oops, was my cat. Uh, the album Matt is playing drums, and then live will be um, my boyfriend Zane, who just walked in. Hi. The, Lots of things happening. Oh, yeah. The whole family gets involved. You have a lot of cool things. Like we said uh, in the beginning, you're playing Bloodfest coming up, and then you're also touring with uh, Vagabonds, right? Um, I, yeah. Yeah. So uh, where are you playing? Where are you playing on that tour? Is that mostly the Midwest? Or? Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I have it written down here. It's just I'm going to be playing tomorrow as it kicks off, so there's, like, luggage hanging out all around my screen. Um, we're going to be going out to Johnstown, Pennsylvania, to play Flood City Fest, and then making our way back from Pennsylvania to Illinois and Indiana area, back up to Michigan for Love Fest. So it'll be a little, like, festive fest tour. There you go. And then you, by the time you get to the to the last stop, you'll be so ready. You'll be so – you'll be, you'll be set. Everything will be tight. Yes. Yeah. And, and to help with tour, you just got on Feed the Beat, right? Yes. I'm really excited about that. Um, I really hope my money is in because I want to go do that. I want to be able to like use that on tour. <laughs> That's always the best. That's always the best. Get that, that Taco Bell. What's your go-to Taco Bell order? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm a vegetarian, so there's not too many options. But... I really like, they have this, like, menu item that, like, it's not really on the menu, but they have it. It's called Fiesta Potatoes. Have you heard of those? There you go. So good. Yeah, I really like Fiesta Potatoes, so I'll get, like, whatever I can. So, like, I don't know, cheap quesadilla or, like, bean burrito or whatever, but then I get Fiesta Potatoes as well. Like, or I'll 
else is going, I'll get like, I get like three views on videos. <laughs> That's that's uh when I talk to when I talk to the band Prince Daddy and the Hyena, they're big Taco Bell fans, and they were all about the potatoes. They're like, that's how that's how we get full. You you have to have the potatoes in the meal. You can't just you can't just rely on the burritos. But uh, yeah, for real, that's why I'm so happy that this uh, loaded potato grillers. Those are so good. Yeah, this is like a Taco Bell promo video now. I know, right? Maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll throw me some of those some of those uh, feed the beat dollars, and then we'll be happy. But Mm -hmm. uh yeah talk about so good and vegetarian options also very cool for fast food um so uh i guess while we're talking about tour and stuff be i wondered what was maybe your dream lineup this is sort of surely it's kind of a new band but let's say you got to play with anyone uh in the future when you're super cool and famous what would be the coolest uh bands to share a stage with oh gosh okay i really love now now but I love Jessica Abbott, and I'll follow her, and she just quit now now. So I want to say now now, but like go like a few years in the past where Jessica Abbott was in the band and then played with them. There you go. <laughs> um, and I love from Indian Lakes, so oh, that was I will cool. be there. Yeah, I, I could see those lineups. That's that's not too that's not too out there. I I feel like it could happen. Let's work some magic. <laughs> yeah, right. That that would be a good one. So I guess uh, we've you just mentioned a little bit of it, but uh, what is some music that you like to listen to? Everything. I don't want to be that person, but like I listen to everything other than country, but then some country, you know, yeah. just just about everything. Um, recently, I've been listening a lot to like the new Kendrick Lamar album. It's nice. been like, yeah, <laughs> it's been in heavy rotation. Um, this is in heavy rotation. I went back to Julian Baker and listened to her. I went, I've been listening to a lot of Pine Grove. Yeah, nice mix. Just really like everything. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like something I, that I would say. I'm always telling the staff at the alternative, I'm like, we should cover some more hip hop. I'm always trying yes. to force it in there. It's Yes, you need to. It's amazing. <laughs> what is your favorite Kendrick album, though? Is it this one? That's hard. That's really hard. You're like, you're really digging deep into me. Wise jazz influence. I think that's amazing. The album and that's amazing. When it comes to like one hits, like each track being a hit, I think this newest album is that one. Um, but then coherent, like as an album and the story of Kendrick as a rapper, I really like the Kid Bad City. So, um, yeah, they were all in heavy rotation when they came out at the time, though. So it's like, I can't. Yeah, say. it's it's tough. Um, yeah. I, my personal favorite might be Mad City, but it might just because that was like the first Kendrick I heard, and I was like, why? This is so good. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh, you can't ask me that, because I have like memories of being in like high school and like listening to that album and just being like, yeah, I'm cool, like walking down the hallway. Oh, yeah, just like, oh, good kid, Mad City, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh. What. What are some. What are some other. Uh. Like hip hop artists that you're into. Oh my gosh. I really like Denzel Curry. It's just so good. It's just it gets you going. It's like when I'm having a bad day. It's like I'll just. I'll put on some Denzel Curry, or some Ugly Frank, or some Kendrick. I'll put my hair up and I'll just like do chores. There you That's go. Best. So yeah, I would say Denzel Curry, um, Flatbush Zombies are real good. Listen to them. Yeah, you're not in, you get it. Yeah, I know what's up. This is, you got good taste. All right, you're in. You're in the club. <laughs> Detroit, okay, I see you. I see you, Detroit. There you right go. There, in those windows. Yeah? Do you have any uh, interest outside of music? Oh my, wow. Okay, yeah, I know, I do everything. Well... I like music a lot, and I'm really, really happy that I am able to use it as a platform. Um, obviously, this project is newer, but I've been playing music my whole life, so it's really nice to be able to play my own music. I think just over a year ago was my first solo set, like my first time ever like playing a set. So I love music, and I'm really, really happy that I get to do it so much, but it is not the only thing that I do. I'm studying graphic design, so I love graphic design. Um, I love art. I was double majoring in graphic design film. So I love film, photography. I do that too. I'm staring at my T3I when I get nervous here and play here. Oh, wow. 
Um, yeah, I love watching movies. I haven't done that enough lately. I'm like reading and like painting, painting and things like that. So when it comes to art and art and film, we can talk about uh, some of your favorites there as well. Do you have any artists that you sort of look up to or just like like their work? <sighs> I, okay, when it comes to art, I guess for graphic design, I really look up to Stegmeister and Walsh. Um, they're, I don't know, if any graphic designers watch this, they'll be like, yeah, yeah, Stegmeister. <laughs> so it's Stegmeister and Walsh's page, it's like Kogan, who's absolutely amazing. And then like for typography, I really look up to Ellen Lupton. I have like all of her books sitting here on my desk. She's amazing. She's like the type queen. She's the queen of everything. So yeah, I love that. When it comes to, um, like compositionally and film wise, I really love Paul Thomas Anderson like a lot. So I'm like super into like There Will Be Blood and The Master, and I'm just like watching it and I'm like, this is so cool, you know. Um, I think it's like super compositionally sound, and I really like that. I like great work, so mm -hmm. those kind of things really great. And then when it comes to music, um, I have no idea because <laughs> I don't. Get them. But sure. that's a nice mix. Um, okay. Have you have you thought about like uh, incorporating all these other sort of talents that you have into your work with Shortly? Or do you, do you do that at all, or is it do you try and keep things separate? I don't try to keep things separate. I just kind of do things as I want to do them, which is it works in my favor, I guess. Because like um, as a graphic designer, I can do all my own graphic design and promote work. Um, I designed my own logo, I'll probably fix it. And I'm designing my own shirts and things like that. And I have enough connections there to screen print them myself when I want to. And then when it comes to film, it's like obviously I can't film it myself, but I can storyboard it and I can work on cinematography. And I have a really good idea of like how to work on like my music videos in the future of like mapping those out. So just incorporating it that way. And then, like, when it comes to art and literature, like, poetry becomes lyricism, becomes music. So it all just kind of happens, yeah. Yeah, there you go. You you're all, got all the talents. You're putting it together. So, so you mentioned music videos. Do you have any plans to film some music videos coming up for the new stuff? I do, yes. I can't talk too much about it. Super so, like, secret. I'm very excited, yeah. Oh, that'll be great. Um, we'll be on the lookout for those as well. And uh, I guess I guess just my last question, just to wrap up a little bit, is what is what should we expect coming up in the future for shortly beyond these like immediate tours? Um, how soon can we expect the new music? Uh, is it still sort of up for grabs? That was something I was talking about like half an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> um, there will definitely be new music this year. I think that's all I can safely say is that there will be new music this year um how much new music i'm not sure yet but um there will be new music there you go you heard it here first there will be new music this year <laughs> we're gonna make there it will happen be a single. i promise that okay well, i'm very excited to hear the new stuff and i had a great time talking with you so uh have a good time and uh be on the lookout for this uh next tour let me know how all the taco bell goes I will. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs>